we're going to install some Minn Kota talons on this tractor Pro Guide 175. It's a direct transom mount uh, with the talons. So we're going to start this evening and finish it off tomorrow. We'll try to get it done. To begin with, you're going to have to take off this back deck down here. This whole thing has to come off. And to do that, you have to take these carpeted side panels off, both sides. The best thing to do is to just feel around either uh, with a uh, pick or a screwdriver and find all of your screws. And there's screws all along the bottom and screws along the, all along the top. Pretty simple to take this apart. So that, that side comes off, I've already unscrewed it. This one comes off, this one comes off. Set these off to the side. Nice to have an assistant, they do assistant. And then go along and find all of these these are number two screws phillips screws this is a uh, number three you can also use a square tip on these as well uh, these do like to strip out sometimes so be careful with them sometimes they're stripped from the factory again there's probably four on the back of each hinge and there's uh there's some all the way around the uh, splash well so, get to know where they all are after so long I think this one was already broken off by the factory so it just spins as you can see they snap them off in there that means you're gonna have to pry that one out that's more common than you would think so there's some around here get around with them I leave them in the deck like that just so it's easier to put them back in. Sometimes they bury them in there real good. That one was buried in there, so you can see the angle like that. Just take your time and kind of work around. Opposite side, same screw. They bury those in there and they snap a lot. Should be pretty darn close. tell just giving it a tug if you got more screws it's good to have some extra deck screws if you bought your boat at a tractor dealer you may be able to go back and ask for some more Can you grab my uh, pry bars in that black tool bag? Thank you. So because these got snapped off, the stud is still in that wood. So you're gonna have to pry that out. Once we get the deck off, we can get it back and put a new one in. The deck is this. now wiggle it out. And the only other thing connecting it here is the uh, the rear anchor light, which is normally has bullet connectors, but this one has butt connectors. We're gonna cut them. But normally, like say, the only deal is a removable connector. It's not always butt connectors. But now, what had happened, I say they buried these in here and they seize up and these studs are still biting into the wood. So, you know, get yourself some replacements so, because this is bound to happen to you. Then just take your vice grips and try, you know, screw that out and then you can put a new one in. Grab my vice grips. Hammer 
those things in there. So you're gonna have a few of them. Now the next step is gonna be marking out on the transom where we're gonna mount the uh, talons. And once we get it marked out, we're gonna have to come in here. We have to cut this foam out and gain, gain access to the actual back side of the transom so we can through bolt it. That's gonna be a, a task for in the morning. Got me a jump start tonight while it's nice and cool. So in the morning we'll come out here and uh, tackle that. For this particular bow, we're gonna end up trying to mount him somewhere in here and try to save a portion of his swim platform. Oh, but I'm not sure that that's gonna work out or not. But we'll see. We'll find out tomorrow. All right, we're back out here. This morning, what I've gone ahead and done is uh, remove the swim platform. We're gonna have to uh, modify that for that to work. But you will be able to still use this half of the swim platform. But basically you wanna check, lock it up, put the, put the whole unit up here with the bracket, and then have somebody turn the steering wheel and make sure that you have enough room for clearance between the furthest point that it can turn and the uh, and the talon so you want about two inches or so at least so we went on this side of the transom eye let's say to be able to save as much room here and then also it gives you fishability out of the corner of the boat still so basically get this side mocked up and then mirror it for the other side and measure from the uh, motor mount to your holes and then from the top of the transom to your hole and then like say mirror this on that side. I like to put tape down so I can move my holes around, slide the bracket around and you're not you're not scuffing the, the boat up. And sometimes you gotta move your holes around just a little bit so it's easier to do with masking tape on there. Once you get that marked out, then you gotta dig all the uh, the foam out in here to get access to the bolt so you can through bolt it. That's a mess. Uh, it's best to just use a sawzall, kind of cut out your sections and then pop them out with a pry bar or a screwdriver. Looks like we have some uh, yellow jackets made a nice little nest up here. So it adds an element of danger to us today. Hopefully I don't get stung. We'll work around them. That's a little uh, excitement and danger to the whole project. All right, good at it. Uh, pull your wires back make sure you don't cut through any of your rigging any of your wires on that side you only have a couple for your live well uh light here and then your, your pump brother and then uh the village hoses and stuff You're pretty safe over there but this side you want to make sure you got all your wires pulled out of the way Whenever you're going to uh, do any through hole, and it's going to be a permanent thing, I highly recommend running Marine Grade. It's a 3M product, 5200, fast cure. If you don't want it to come off and you don't want it to leak, that's this. Regular Marine Grade silicone is great too, but if you're going to be putting something on your boat that's going to be a permanent thing, use this stuff. It bonds with the boat and it ain't coming off and it ain't leaking the first time. So. It is messy though. You can, once you get it on you, it'll spread like cancer. So be careful or your wife will kill you. Go in the house and get it on the couch or something. It's like pipe dope or anti-seize. Once you get any on you, it's over. Use the gloves. You can clean this stuff up really good with either uh, brake cleaner or uh, acetone. I want to 
have it splooge out pretty good when you tighten it up. Just work one side at a time. If you guys have ever worked with stainless steel hardware, you know, uh, you should use the anti seize. They do provide you with anti seize uh, when they get. Stainless steel gets really hot when it tightens up and it will, it will seize. So it's good to apply some anti seize. It's everywhere. Now I'm gonna have to clean up. All right. So what we gotta do now is you want the uh, the talon straight up and down. So you got these uh, angle adjustment holes on the bracket. So we're gonna get these uh, plumbed with the transom. Try that one first. Huh? Try the next one. One's too much, the other too little. We'll see how that works. So the trickiest part about putting these, sliding them back on, there's these plastic washers that you want to stay in between the bracket and the towel. See if we can slide it down. Yeah. So you want this thing about four inches off the bottom of your hole. So what we're gonna do. Those are plates that uh, keep uh, keep water from uh, being able to scoop up in there. It's not really too bad on, on a direct transom mount, but on a jack plate mount, you really want those on there. They don't scoop the water. All right, well, that's one mounted. We'll do the same to the other side, and then we'll do the wiring. So yeah, that goes. All right. Brackets are level, like they are. Then we can just go off of this bolt right here. They look to be the same height. Okay, so we got them all mounted and we uh, we got the wires ran back here to the battery area. Now, what this green wire, that's pretty, well, pretty self-explanatory here, positive, negative. But this green wire here, these are to run to an emission hot uh, source. That way, if you have your talons down, if you turn your ignition on, they start alarming, telling you that, hey, stupid, I'm still down. You run uh, these two green wires 
off of each one to uh, an ignition hot source on your on your dash or anywhere you have ignition power somewhere where you turn the key on and it's hot that's usually a purple wire on your boat splice into that and that's it really for the wiring positive negative run that green wire to ignition hot power good to go we'll get that done and put the deck back on and then test them and sync them both together and i'll show you how to do that so when you hit the remote both of them will go down at the same time all right and down button together. Yeah. Sink. There you go. It synced. Now would you grab me one of those remotes there? Double push the down and they'll both go down. And it'll drive in, that's the pulsing you're hearing. It's actually trying to drive it into the, the bottom harder and then double click up and you can cycle left or right here if you want to do one or the other which i don't know why you'd ever want to do that but uh, you can and then uh, this will change the mode for rough water or soft bottom and all the remotes will now work because these are linked together all right that's it